Yesterday, I was with Gabe up on the Kissimmee River hunting snipe and catching catfish. We were driving to his house, and about two miles from his house, he said, oh yeah, tomorrow I'm going to West Point, Mississippi deer hunting. I said, no, no, we're going to West Point, Mississippi deer hunting. So, just so y'all know, we don't always get something. We came in this afternoon, slipped in. Gabe went to one side, I went to the other side. The good thing about this property is, they said, if y'all want a property, there's no stands, it's just land, go. And so, Gabe said, I'm going that way. Kelly went down and got in a stand, and I went that way, and we just scouted and looked, had a good time. The great thing about it is, we came back and they've got, this is duck, bacon sausage and it's probably the best sausage I've ever had and for those of you who don't hunt or aren't successful hunting what's the name of your website gamekeepermeats.com gamekeepermeats.com there will be a link in the description below they have all kinds of wild boar venison sausages all kinds of really whole cool stuff alligator yeah. what you can buy yeah. a whole alligator from them <laughs> yeah so this is all we're doing tonight we're gonna sit around and fellowship. I think it's pretty neat. You can order elk. Yeah, we're anything like any kind of wild game. You can now go to their website and order it, and it be shipped right to you. And it's a lot cheaper than going on some of these hunts too, by the way. That is very, very true. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna hang out tonight. Hit it again tomorrow morning, first thing. And you are riding shotgun. All right, you guys. Here's a scoop. It's morning, actually this is the first morning. Last night was amazing, we ate some incredible food, got a good night's sleep, now we're heading to the woods. I'm not sure where I'm gonna hunt, but I will be hunting somewhere. That. Are you on?
Mbak. Mbak. Son. That's what I'm talking about. That's the biggest spike I've ever seen in my whole life. Anytime I'm hunting and I get one, my favorite thing in the world to do is send all my friends this. Ah, got he. Ah, got he. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I would I would do anything to take this guy hunting or fishing. But um, hey, let's ease over there and see him. I mean, dude, I got three days to hunt. And the, to me, a shooter is a deer that the second you see him, you say, I gotta kill that deer. And the very second I saw him, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. This is a big like lake behind us. And right here, this was a levee. Well, the levee broke and all the water rushed out down the creek. But you can see the beavers, they've got a big dam put right there. So they're blocking up some of this water. Come on. And you can see where they take the mud and all these little willows, these little, little, little bushes. See that? See how he chewed that off? And he dammed it up. He, he put one dam there and one dam here. Hey, that's the first deer I've killed all year long. And you know what? He doesn't have any eye guards. He's a big old spike. Like, what a weird looking deer. I've never seen that in my life. I just gutted that deer right there and them cows came rushing up, smelling of it, licking it. I, I never seen that in my life, nowhere. Ladies, there's nothing you can do for him now. He's in heaven. A lot of people ask me why I do this, but I do it just because it kind of makes it easy. Take your knife and run right up the seam and what you're doing is follow that all the way up just like this I'm trying out a new knife right now so I don't have any of my woods and waters we've been out of stock for like two months and I gave away all of mine that I had so I'm just using a pocket knife that I got over there at the Mossy Oak store and I gotta say, it's pretty sharp. Just, uh, just whittle away at that deer a little bit, you know? Meanwhile, everyone's sitting around talking, having a good time. And uh, I'm just tickled pink. Come up here, slip down there in the woods. And uh, it didn't take no time. We got us a nice buck. I always, prefer hanging them as high on the legs as possible. I feel like that just helps you, helps prevent getting hair on the meat. And if you have ever eaten deer meat and you're like, oh, that's gamey, it's probably because there was hair on the meat. But this deer went from alive to dead about as fast as humanly possible. And that's good for the meat as well. There you go. We're all set. I mean, this deer is, for the most part, done. Take your tail right there and just go right to the base. She good. Well, you guys, this is Walker right here. Say hey to everybody. How y'all doing? 
he works out here on this cattle ranch. What do you typically do, Walker? Well, we feed almost every day. Uh, there's anywhere from 100 to 400 cows out here, just depending on the time of the year. Right. Uh, we feed here, over there across the road, back at his house. It's different little things every day. It's never really the same. It's never the same, huh? Right. That's how a ranch is, man. It's always something. You just got to figure out what to, what's next. That's right. Now, do you deer hunt at all? I do. Good. Have you killed one this year yet? Well, I've killed a doe. I, I've let the buck slip by me a few times. But oh, man. I didn't want to put a bad shot on him and let him go. Well, that's very, that's very honorable of you. There you go. I just winched it up there so a dog or nothing gets a hold of it. We got a big cold front coming in. It's gonna get nice and cool. And I'll just let it hang overnight. Should be great tomorrow. You ain't gonna believe this. Hold on, he's coming. What you got there? Hey, you dang right. Ooh, that looks good. You dang right. And shout out to my boy Google Foods. It's dry aged. It's been dry aged in the natural air. Okay, you guys, thanks for everybody for, for telling me that Guga was trying to get in touch with me. Guga, thanks a lot for shouting me out. Um, that is actually what you were cooking in that video. Backstrap. Mm. Although I don't have like that, ooh, the, the voice that he talks in, you know? But Why whatever. did, did y'all come in with one backstrap and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of us? We got more coming. Yeah, I don't know. We wanted y'all to get to cook it. And y'all smell that, though. Oh my goodness. Hey, this is, so for those of you who are watching, I hope you understand how attainable hunting is. You know, there are so many people out there like the Florida Hunters Network. There's all kinds of groups on Facebook that are pretty nice people that will really help you out. There's tons of public land. There's tons of opportunities to hunt. And then there's companies like Mossy Oak that are leading the way in just making things available. So, we got corn and green beans. We're making some mac and cheese. Shout out to my little girls, Ari and Emma. I got some backstrap. And this, you guys, this is just what hunting is all about. It's about going out there, me and Gabe and uh, Kelly and Austin and all the guys, we've just been enjoying it. You know, I've never hunted here before. They've never really hunted here before. We're just out here trying to figure it out. In each hunt, we feel like we're getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I felt like tonight I got a little bit farther, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, what's your most like memorable thing that we ate as kids? Gosh, dear me. Absolutely, man. I'd be coming back from the backwoods like hunting with John Ed or over at, at Bonnie and Jenny's house. And when the wind was blowing out of the southeast, I could smell it so clearly. Mom would be cooking it. And it smelled the exact same now as it did then. It brings me back. I honestly think though, I like it better the way my mom cooks it the next day in a Ziploc bag. Oh yeah, cold. And now Jake, my 10 year old, is the same way. He loves it cold in a Ziploc. Not cold, but lukewarm, like countertop warm the next day. My mom's deer meat. And I can't mimic it. I can cook deer meat good, but not like hers. Deer, I don't, like, mom would be doing the exact same thing we're doing right now. She'd be doing the exact same thing, and it will taste different. I don't know how, but it will taste different. Salt. Here's a question. Why do people keep flour in Ziploc bags and in the, the freezer? Do you know why? There you go, good. Ow! Kelly, do you know why? Keep it fresh. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below if you know why you keep flour. Ow! I might want to do that again. In a Ziploc bag and in the freezer. Oh, I can see the flour sitting in my nose now. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I wonder if there's a trail cam over no. here. I've got a camera.
As y'all can tell, they don't really care that I'm cooking a gourmet meal right, right now. They're just having conversation. Hey, it's hunting camp. What can we say? Kelly had to pee. Yep. <laughs> See that right there? Cast iron skillet full of fried deer meat. That's what I was looking at whenever I started deer meat for dinner. I was looking at a pan just like that, thinking, what do I love? I said, I love deer meat. I love deer meat for dinner. Next thing you know, I bought it for $9.99 on GoDaddy with Sarah's credit card. When you're gonna flip it, this is what you're looking for. It'll start weeping the little blood out of there. When that happens, that means she's ready to get flipped. Just like that, that's what you're looking for. Just a little golden brown. Let's make a plate. You got green beans and corn. You got mac and cheese. Ooh, I don't wanna give it all away. You got mac and cheese. Son, you can't be eating off my plate. <laughs> and then, we got some deer meat. Look at that. Mm. That'll work. Come on, Dave, make you play, Bubba. Hey, let's hit lunch real quick. This is serious. That's another thing about coming to deer camp and being a part of stuff like this is being thankful for what we have. So, dear Lord, thank you so much for this day and for this food. Thank you for our wonderful new friends and the opportunity to come up here and, and hunt together. Lord, please be with us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, you, you guys. pray for your fans that just had to see my hair like this. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, got it right? Me too. Y'all ever eat your meat like that? Occasionally. I love little cutlets of deer meat like that. And it could be shoulder, ham, backstrap, tenderloin, any of it. I eat it all. It's really good. That's what I'm talking about. And being away from my girls, Ari and Emma, daddy loves you. Honey pie, I miss you. I wish you were here. And the mac and cheese is for y'all. What you think, Kel? It's really good. Yeah, Kelly's up here trying to kill her first deer. Make sure you check out Kelly Young. She's a uh, Got a great YouTube channel. This is my little brother, Blue Gabe. This is David from Mossy Oak. And uh, we're just having a wonderful time. Yeah, yeah notice all of <laughs> Mossy Oak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to support those who support you. But that's all I got. We'll be hunting again tomorrow, so there will be more. Take care, God bless, and we gone.